Previously on Rise of the Third Power, we infiltrated a castle in order to kidnap a princess before she can get married to an Arcadian prince. Supposedly, this will prevent a world war that will come as a result of Serinthia strengthening their alliance with the militaristic Arcadian Empire. Unfortunately, a random bell ringer beats the crap out of us, so now we get to play as the princess instead. Can't hop back into bed. There we are. And probably as stressed as I need to be. Goodness, our servants certainly seem busy this morning. Hmm, all the doors that were previously locked are now available. Can I even talk to any of you? Oh, beg your pardon, Miss Princess Ariel. I'm in such a hurry preparing for your wedding. I almost didn't see you there. Thankfully, not all the servants in the castle are as mouthy as dear old Miss Tessa. Ahem, I am looking for Lord Philip. Do you happen to know where he is? Hmm, well, I do believe he be in the throne room, Your Highness. Soaring out last-minute details for the wedding, I bet. I see, thank you. I'll go have a look. Beg your pardon, Your Highness. There's much to do for your wedding and not much time to do it. Can I talk to any of these servants? You know, you don't really realize how many dishes the palace has until you find yourself polishing them all for a wedding. Yawn. Oh, I beg your pardon, Your Highness. My goodness, what is wrong with everyone today? Oh, my head. Ah, Princess Ariel. Good day, Your Highness. Um... It's one thing after another. First the toads, and now I find my men drunk in Lord Philip's bedroom on the morning of Princess Ariel's wedding. I should have your heads for this. Sir Pork, you are a knight. What do you have to say for yourself? I, um, I don't seem to remember. You don't remember? What's going on? I'm sorry you have to see this, your highness. It seems our men thought your special day was an occasion for them to celebrate. Why, the very nerve. You're all coming with me. Now march. I knew it was worth going back here to check. <laughs> With your leave, Highness. Go show them what for, Commander. That I most certainly will. Move out. Look at this empty flask laying here. Disgusting. Can I take it? Can I still pet animals? Yes, I can. I guess every character has their own animation for it. Ugh, my head, what happened? Ahem. The Elite. Uh, oh, Princess Ariel, good day, Your Highness. Good day, you seem troubled, is everything quite alright? Of course, Your Highness, just are excited for a wedding today. Never mind this well in my head and not being able to remember a damn thing about last night. I beg your pardon? Or nothing, Highness, congratulations on your big day. Wait a minute, we used, uh, we used sharp... Weapons and guns. How are, how do they not have any visible wounds? It's a lot of people. Good morning, princess. As you can see, your far as brunch compare uh, prepare for your wedding guests. It's a lot of people I have to talk to. It's quite lovely. Would you like me to announce your arrival? Oh no no, that's quite all right. Thank you. I think I'll be announced plenty by the time this wedding is through. I'll just wander about, and maybe sneak one of those mimosas. As you wish, Your Highness. That man over there, he had the audacity to wear the same hat. This is an outrage, my day is ruined, early ruined. Please forgive my husband, Your Highness. He gets a little er, irrational about his headwear sometimes. The fashion police are certainly out in force today. My goodness, do you see her dress? It's like somebody subdued a... Uh, uh, wool... Per a tinger and slung it across that woman's neck. Stars guide you, Your Highness, on this most glorious of days. Hail Serenthia. Arcadian Dignitary. Good morning, Your Highness. Needless to say, we are honored to witness your union of Prince Gage Noriskov. Long may his fire reign. Oh, Princess Ariel, my old bones aren't used to travel anymore. I should be back in Arcadia in front of a nice warm fire. 
King Horatio seems to have spared no expense in accommodation for his guests. Serenthia certainly is opulent when compared to Arcadia. Stars guide you, Highness, on this most glorious of days. Hail Serenthia. I'll wear my armor, he says. I'll look impressive, he says. And of course he's going to make me lug it around when he gets tired. Maybe I should have left my armor at home. I can't sit down in this at all. Good morning, Your Highness. I have come from Solaria, one of the city-states that formed from the Shard Kingdoms following the Great War. It's good to see Serenfia has withstood the tumult uh, tumultuous years after the war ended. I wish I could say the same for my former kingdom, but I am still proud to serve Solaria. Good day to you, Your Highness. Prince Gage is getting ready in this room, and he has asked that he not be disturbed. Even for me? I'm sorry, but Arcadian meditations take a great deal of concentration. I'll let you know when he is finished. Hm. Well, I'd better get, uh, he'd better be getting himself ready in a proper trance uh, uh, for the ceremony, then. Okay, there's pr the prince. Good day to you, my princess. As you can see, the denizens of Castle Even Heart are all hard at work preparing for the ceremony. Your, your Highness, welcome. Old Dusty here, conductor of the Ramblin' Rangers Ensemble. We've played all over the world, from kings to rowdy ta uh, tavern parties. But this wedding, this will be our greatest work yet. Isn't that right, Rangers? Ramblin' Rangers murmur in tepid agreement. Symbols are underrated. I'll play them so loud the stars will hear it. My job may look easy, and it is. I'm the finest flottist uh, this side of the Parian River, Highness. Mimic's drum sounds with his mouth uh, with his eyes closed. I'm about to go freaking crazy with this uh, viola, your highness. Good morning, your highness. Have you come to inspect the chapel before the wedding ceremony? You'll be quite pleased, I think. I've never seen a group of people so excited for this flowers before. I dare say I never will again. Roses and pansies. Flowers should go over here. Wait, no, they should go over here. There. Ah. Chew. All these flowers are filling the air pollen. I forgot to pet this cat earlier. Not that I can. It doesn't look like I can pet them across the table. This is the bell chamber. Oh, you! I didn't know you and your uh, friends are uh, what your f you and your friends are doing up here, Mister Bellringer. But please stop ringing your, the bell your bell randomly in the morning. I'm not. Uh, I'll not have my beauty rest interrupted by some rowdy bell ringer and his haggard friends. Um. Wait. What? It's so difficult to find good help these days. Was that supposed to? Was that a mandatory scene? I don't need to go back up there with the, that sweaty bell ringer and whoever those other two people were. Wow. That's some. Uh, that is very thorough of the devs to account for us trying to go to the site of the boss battle with Ariel. Hurump, hurump, I say, Your Highness. Oh, Your Highness, have you seen Prince Gage yet today? I knew he was handsome, but all dressed up in ceremonial Arcadian regalia? What a dreamboat. The fashion police. Okay, you already said that. My friend here has some creative ideas for the ceremony, Your Highness. She's a bit envious, I think. I beg your pardon for my daughter's youthful ex exuberance. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. This is Sparrow, one of the Imperial agents that arrived with Prince Gage's entourage. I don't know the details, but rumor has it that Sparrow is one Emperor Noroskov's elite agents of esp espionage. I'm sure it would all be very interesting if I had the foggiest idea what any of that meant. Good morning, Sparrow. You really don't say much, do you? I will speak if you command it, Your Highness, but I find there is not much to be said. No, no, I think I rather like that attitude of yours, actually. Duchess Victoria, Imperial Envoy. Good morning, Your Highness. Lady Victoria is an Imperial Mage, leader of the Imperial Legion, and Nor Emperor Nor Noriskov's second command. She's not exactly friendly, but I can't help but admire the cold and calculating way she seems to approach things. I'm sure it goes without saying how pleased I am that you are to wed our beloved Prince Gage. You certainly don't look pleased, Lady Victoria. I assure you, I'm positively ecstatic. In the Great War, our countries were enemies. The conflict is a generation behind us, yet the rift between our people has only just begun to heal. The reunion of Prince Gage and the resulting alliance between Serenthia and the Arcadian Empire will do much to mend these old wounds. I don't know, how, uh, know much about that. I am merely upon my father's politics. If marrying me off to a dashing prince is my father's idea of winning the game, so be it. That is most wise, Your Highness. The best way to win at a grand game of politics is not to play. 
Hello, hello, your majesty. Slowly wang and all, but can't we add some excitement? How about some sword fighting or some explosions? The fashion police... Uh, uh, you said that already. Wait, weren't you walking around? What the heck? This man is Lord Kudrin Noroskov, the Arcadian Emperor's brother, here to witness the wedding. His order is responsible for guarding a sacred mountain in Arcadia called Perindesh. The white mountain needs guarding, I haven't a clue. He's just as chilly as the rest of his wintry compatriots. Perhaps I can trick him into cracking a smile. Ahem. Ah, oh, princess, good day. Hello, Lord Kudrin. Why, well, if, it w if it wasn't for that delightful mustache, I'd have mistaken you for Prince Gage. Yes, our hair is quite similar. Well, that didn't work at all. I was wondering if you would make an appearance before the wedding. But of course, I had to say hello to my favorite fu future uncle-in-law before the big moment. Well, uh, but am I not your only future uncle-in-law? I know, it's such a shame. If you had another brother, I could have had you two fight it out for my affection. The faintest hint of a smile touches Kudrin's lips. Aha, there it is. I think I'll count that as a victory. It, it will, I suspect, be interesting at the very least to have you as part of our family, your highness. Well, I am certain that must be the fondest compliment you've given out today, so I'll be sure to cherish it. I'll be leaving to return to the Templar Fortress shortly after your ceremony, your highness. I wish you well, if I haven't a chance to later. Your union with Prince Gage will pave the way for our alliance, your highness, and a brighter tomorrow. Princess Ariel, I'm so excited about your wedding I can hardly stand it. Good morning, Princess. There were some strange exterminators here recently. Did, did you see them? One was dressed like a pirate or something. <laughs> Princess, I am making world-class delicacies in here. I must concentrate. Morning, Princess. Here, check up on the kitchen. There's a, a brunch out in the hall for you, and dinner will be magnificent. I must have made a thousand tiny cakes today. Yes, I understand that, Lord Rashim, but you are missing a bigger picture here. Think of the glory of it. Lord Commander Rashim Tariki Envoy. Glory or not, Your Majesty, the Tariki Senate has significant reservations of this arrangement. Dmitry Noroskov has violated the Treaty of Evenheart in three separate counts now, all of which were acts of war against his neighbors. Oh, come now. It's a bit melodramatic to call stepping into your own backyard an act of war, don't you think? Ha ha. P Lord Philip. Ah, oh, good morning, Princess. You're looking appropriately lovely for a lady about to be wed, if you, I might be so bold. You might. Your father is having a rather spirited conversation with the Tariki and voice that arrived this morning. Seems they have come once again to plead their case that our alliance with Arcadia is folly. My daughter's wedding is in, is, is in a matter of hours. You do realize this, right? My beloved little angel, light of my, uh, my life, you've heard of her. Uh, yes, of course, your majesty. Oh god, what is he doing? Princess, I've known your father for some three years and I still have the faintest idea. Why is Tariq opposed our alliance so much? I thought they were our friends. Old grudges are difficult to let go, I suppose. Tariq Borda brought up the Arcadian invasion 20 years ago. Well, you think if they wanted to avoid their war, they'd be happy about this. Anyway, Miss Tessa has informed me that my mother insists I go into town to fetch my wedding dress and I am to drag you along to babysit. I'll be most pleased to ensure your safety if, that, if that's what you mean, Princess. Maybe saying by another name, but Miss Tessa made it clear that there would be no take a talk of my mother out of it. Very well, Your Highness, I shall be honored to follow your lead. Now then, that's final. When you return to your Senate, inform them that King Horatio is the kind of man that allies with his daughter's husbands. As you would have it, Your Majesty. Good then, and remind them that they should have given us Tal Talindra after the war while you're at it. Darling, you're raving again. Am I? I hadn't noticed. Uh, no sooner do I mention her than my adorable royal daughter appears. Hello, little one. Er, good morning, father. You haven't forgotten you're getting married in a few hours, I hope. Unlike those glorified turnip farmers that call themselves Tariki Envoys. I've not forgotten, father. Good, see to it that you don't. Darling, you, truly, the raving. Yes, yes, so what will you you'll be doing with yourself before the ceremony? Well, Miss Tessa is having me fetch my gown from the sea like some sort of garment-fetching street urchin. I understand this is at the behest of my apparently vindictive mother. It is. Good morning, dear. Well, it won't take too long. I'm sure we'll need to get you ready for the wedding the moment you return. I won't, father. 
And you'll see to it, my little pumpkin of a daughter stays out of trouble, Lord Philip. So far as such a thing is possible, Your Majesty, I intend to. Good then. If you'll excuse me, I have more raving to do. Let's make haste, Your Highness. He's not in the party. Princess Valeria. Oh, if it isn't my other younger sister. Hello, other younger sister. Good morning. You seem cheerful as always. Well, now that you're being married off to Prince Gage, I only have to worry about dear Rebecca here trying to usurp my future throne. Isn't that right, little Rebecca? Yeah. Stop corrupting our little sister with your power games, Valeria. If you are the way, I can corrupt anyone I like. Woo ha Ah ha ha! Hello, sister. Hello, how are you this morning? Excited, you're getting married today. Miss Tessa said I get to be the flower girl, but I don't know what that is, but I like flowers. I'm sure you'll do wonderfully, little sister. Be a good girl and go fetch your dress for your mother, hmm? Don't mind your father, dear. He's just enthusiastic this morning. He seems like his normal self to me. Speaking of enthusiasm, and more specifically my lack of thereof, why are you making me go to the city to fetch uh, get my own dress? If I may answer that with another question, when is the last time you even visited the city? I'm sure I don't remember. Exactly, exactly my point. When you are Queen Arcadia, you will still have to tie to Cernfia, to Evenheart. You will always be a Cernfian. I want you to rem remember that, darling. Have one last look at the city of your birth before you leave. <laughs> them drunkards. I'll spend a night in the stocks before I decide what to do with them. Your Highness, don't wor you worry none. I'll be harsh. May the sun light your steps, your highness. This, okay, you said the same thing? Princess Ariel, good morning, your highness. This is Rashim, a commander in Tariq's army, and the most recent uh, envoy sent to us. He doesn't seem to like daddy very much, but daddy can be a lot, so I can emphasize. Good day. I saw your quarrel with my father a moment ago. I obviously do not agree with your father's stance in this matter, but it's not for me to argue with him. I am here only to convey the will of the Senate of Tariq. May I ask why Tariq is so opposed to our alliance? We believe the Empire of Arcadia's goals are not in line with maintaining the peace and stability of Rin. Serenfia and Tariq fought as allies against Arcadia not so long ago. We only wish to remind His Majesty of that alliance. Regardless of the differences between our two nations, Your Highness, I do congratulate you on your engagement. Castle Evenheart is protected since it's built into this side of the big mountain. I've heard it's, newer, uh, it's never been taken in war. I understand you don't often get out to the sea, Your Highness. Allow me to act as a, allow me to act as a guide. The seamstress's shop is just south of here, the building on the west side of the street. Well, we are pressed for time, Your Highness. I suppose you have a moment to look around if the mood strikes you. You don't get to sit often, after all. Is this just me, or has everyone seemed a little tense lately? I'm doing the 5,000 steps challenge. You gotta walk 5,000 steps every day. Watch out. Your Highness. I'm no mere artist. I'm an artress. Flower shop. Even in these in trying times like these, there's always time to stop and smell the roses. Pretty deep, huh? I made that up myself. How big is this town? What? There's actually an east and west side. The amazing dancing baby is of no use to you. I've never seen such a raw talent. Surely my son is destined for the sage. Ancient origins of the Arcadian Sacred Mountain. Celestial sect, songs of love and wine. I like these quiet corners of the city. Sometimes the bustle gets to be too much. As long as I don't go to the seamstress, I, the story will not continue. There's an upper part here as well. Oh, 
Ahoy there, exploring the city, are ya? Say, if you find my old back scratcher while you're poking around my house, let me know, eh? Is that- an, uh, that doesn't seem to be a quest. It's not listed, so I can't get anything out of helping you. Buru, CEO of the Old Republic, founders of Tariq. Relics, divine mystery or modern myth? Gems. I wonder how much all those royal weddings cost. The rich stealing from the poor. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, hello there, your highness. It's not often I see you out and about. What's the occasion? I'm slumming about in the city because my mother is taking her revenge on me, probably. Ha, huh. well, if it's not too bold for me to say so, highness, it's good of you to see it and be seen by your people once in a while. It'd be a shame if they forgot your face. Yes, I suppose. So doing so just days before I leave for Arcadia seems like a poor time to start. Well, ha have your fa have your father pay me a visit sometime, won't you? It's a shame I'll have to miss your wedding. Hmm. I don't know what key that uh, that could uh, could work with. Good day, your highness. What can I do for you? I've heard there are strange little creatures living in the sewers of Evenheart. That better not be true, Shudder. Next dungeon. Good day, your highness. What can I do for you? A hospital? I don't have time to rest right now. I wanted to be a field medic, but not, not a paper pusher. But those days are gone, I guess. Shoo, you're not allowed back here. While well, I appreciate your enthusiasm for the healing arts, I'll have to ask you to wait in the reception area. Um, I'm in the middle of an examination. We get a lot of funding from the castle, in part due to the role this clinic played in the Great War. But these days, uh, there isn't much need. Lesser heal too. I work in the clinic, but I like to take my lunch out here when I can. Fresh air is part of being healthy, too. And things certainly are becoming strange these days. People, too. Blowing sky islands? What a ridiculous notion. Islands in the sky full of pointy-eared angels and dwarves and vampires are out there, where fairy magic rules all. Wasn't... Uh, vampires, isn't this era fell? Keep it moving, you two. We ain't got all day. Got my case. We're uh, to be in Goldwood Village by sundown. Work, work, work. I wanted to be a pianist. Who knew this is what my life would be like instead? Oi there, buy some veggies, won't you? If you don't eat your peas, you won't get any dessert. Mighty wind weapons and armor for the bravest warriors. Five years and up. Be careful. Six shaped in the swords still hurt. Toy merchant. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't armor give us splinters? I uh, just had a big plate of buttered snails. Serbia's national dish, you know, delicious. Hey, I recognize you. You're Princess Ariel. Finally, some recognition. Good day, peasant. It, yes, it is I, Her Royal Highness Princess Ariel. Uh, 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 I, Liriata, in the flesh. Charmed, I'm sure. Doing a little last minute flower shopping before a big wedding, are ya? Oh, oh, hoping I'll pay a last minute emergency flower premium, are you? I think not. Worth a shot. Well, hello there, uh, hello there, young lady. You look quite regal compared to my usual customers. Well, I should hope so. I'm a princess, you know. Oh, oh, my sir, so you are. I beg your pardon, Princess Ariel. It's not often we here in the market get to see you out and about. Say, I've got a magic trinket you might like, your highness. I'll even give you a discount. Well, I'm more or less drowning in trinkets back at Ho the castle. Why would I want another? It's magic. Very well, I suppose I don't have any magical trinkets yet. How much does it cost? Well, normally I sell for 200 ducats, but since you're the princess and all, maybe I could curry you your favor with just 100? Hmm, well, that's very generous of you, but I haven't got that much on me. Shared inventory means she's just as poor as my other party members. 
Maybe you can ask the obscenely wealthy far of yours some, for some more. I beg your pardon? Ah, I said, uh, maybe you could look around the city for work. I see. Is that how peasants make money? Then what do you mean by work exactly? Hauling heavy things around? Well, that's one example. How quaint. Very well. I'll go find someone that, uh, something, someone that needs something hauled, then. Thank you. Good luck, your highness. I do believe I saw some folks moving crates in the north part of the city. Then that is where I shall begin. A merchant even her is selling a magical trinket Ariel would like to add to her collection. To come over the money, she has to, she has decided to earn it. By working. Like a commoner. Perhaps she could check the bank or go of her father as well. Good day, my lady. Out for a stroll before the big royal wedding? I'm sure the princess must be excited. I am I really uh, 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 I am virtually unknown in this town, aren't I? What a wonderful day for a stroll through the market. Or her, your highness. You certainly look appealing today, just like our first uh, just like our fine fruit selection. Her her. Greetings, your highness. Just your average trinket seller here, trying to make an honest living. Yes, well, all looks to be in order, I suppose. Carry on. We're playing war. It's a battle. If you get a chance, go visit Angelico. It's a tropical paradise. This new merchant is the slowest I've ever seen. I wonder if they'll ever get finished. Do I want to check out this so-called psychic or this stall that's never going to be set up? Sorry. Um, I'm not finished setting up yet. I want to be a sailor. Big ships with big cannons give me goosebumps. Have you ever seen the inside of the castle? I'm going to be a cook or a guard or something so I can see it. Hello, I can read minds. Ooh, I can already tell you're keeping some dirty little secrets, aren't you? Ha ha. If you scour the world, you'll find ancient bits of history and treasure. That stuff can be worth a fortune, but I say it's priceless. She seems to have a, drink, uh, have a drink that's a little too strong for her. You name it, we've got it. Every type of wine, every liquor, spirit, ale, all across the world. Try some Tariki Scorpion Ale. Coming on a little strong, lady. Ugh. Hey miss, you're pretty cute. Have any advice for me? I'm having no luck hooking up with any of these townies. It's sort of fun uh, 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 that so few of my people seem to recognize me. I should sneak out into the city more often. Ahem. All my relationships are arranged by my father, so I'm afraid I don't have much I can offer. Oh, an arranged marriage. Now there's an idea. Man, things have really been crazy around here lately. I like it. I don't have time to rest right now. Have you ever seen Princess Ariel? Me neither. She's so reclusive, most folk don't even know what she looks like. My word, Princess Ariel. Should I prepare a finest table for your highness this visit today? Not today. As much as I do so adore your fried snails, I'm afraid I'm a little bit busy at the moment. Can I get you adventurers anything else? Here, here. Here, here. A toast to another successful venture, and to the finest, bravest group of companions I could ask for. Here, here. Here, here. I don't have time to rest right now. Why are there so many different rest locations? I've been all over the world. Too often, too long. It's good to be home in Serenfia again. A bit of shore leave. Then expect uh, out to open the wires. Drink up all you can, I say. Serenfia's navy is the strongest in the world, and it's not even close. May the stars guide us. Uh, hello, hello. Welcome to Taste of Serenfia, the finest eatery in all of Rin. Food fit for a princess. Is that so? I happen to be a princess. What would you recommend? Oh, your highness, I didn't recognize you. What a treat it is to see you in the city. Well, if you come back for lunch, you should try the lamb. It would have made a perfect dish for the royal wedding. If this marriage doesn't work out, I'm sure, uh, I'll be sure to have you cater the next one. I'll look forward to it, your highness. Er, not your hypothetical failed marriage, that is. Heh. <laughs> Hello, are you hungry? Go talk to the host and we'll get you a table. If you think this place is nice, you ought to visit Angelico Island. That's where the wealthy like to spend their gold. I'll have some buttered snails, please. So I said to him, perhaps you should check your wig. Ha ha. And then what happened? Hmm.
Have you come to rob me? How rude. At least close the door behind you. I robbed you. What a wonderful day for a stroll through the market. Hmm. Remember the Great War like it was yesterday. That was, in the, that was instead. Such, such a shame. Oh, hi there, miss. Say, won't you give me your opinion? Do you think I should go for this British axe or this elegant pardiche? Oh, I, is there a difference? Well, of course, there's a huge difference. Do I want to split skulls or disembowel? Up close and personal or safe and at a distance? Blood in my face or sprinkle in the sky above me? Glinting in the moonlight. Oh my stars, I am truly sorry I asked. Goodbye forever. And the axe can be used in a pinch to cut firewood, I suppose, but then again... She's still going. New wares added. Lesser heal and whetstone. It costs a lot just to buy one whetstone, though. What the heck is buyback? So does that mean I could buy b back anything I sell to them? Is that how it works? Also, wait, my inventory seems to be different. And also, they have a, they have a limited stock of items, so... Once I buy 99 whetstones from them, they'll never have it ever again. What if I need all those? Maybe I should skip some equipment upgrades so, in order to, uh, to have enough whetstones for the best gear. I don't know. All hubbub about politics, weddings, wars, and alliances. I'm too distracted to sell anything. When there's uncertainty in the world, you can just feel everyone's nervous energy crackling all around you. Oh, good day. Care to try your fine beauty powers and perfumes from Angelico? You'll look ravishing. Of course I already look ravishing. Uh, ravishing... Uh, ravishing... Er, that is, my lady. Impossible. Keep it moving, you two. We ain't got all day. Excuse me. Huh? What do you want, lady? We're busy here. You would be wise to show proper respect to the daughter of your king, sir. Oh, sir, this is Princess Ariel. Begging your pardon, Highness. I ain't seen you in the sea before. Yes, well, as it happens, you've caught me in a good mood, since this is the day of my wang. I'll forgive you if you let me do some work for you. Erm, um, I, uh... Come now, there must be something I can do. Moving these heads of the boxes around looks like work. I'll do that. You're, yes, Highness, you can move as many of my boxes as you like. Uh, where do I move them to? Well... you like me to do this for you, Your Highness? Yes, please. I thought you said you wanted to do work. Delegation is part of work, I think. Hurry up now. Um, so where do we move it to, exactly? There we are, all done. Ah uh, yes, excellent work, Erm, Your Highness. Is there more I can do for you, Princess? Aren't you going to pay me? Pay you? Yes, pay me. I have done work vicariously through my associate, and now you have to pay me for it. That's how this whole thing works, right? I, uh, suppose it is, Your Highness. I, uh, thought you just wanted to help. Help for free? Now I know nobody does that. Ah, uh, alright, here you go, Princess. Free two cats. Free two cats? This isn't enough. Well, it's all I got. Whom I suppose I'll have to keep looking. You may go. Yes, Your Highness. Are you certain we have time for this, Princess? I want the trinket. You don't have any money on you, do you? I somehow doubt your mother would approve. If we must continue th this distraction, I'm afraid you will have to come up with the money yourself, Ariel. Good day, Your Highness. What can I do for you? Good day. I'd like to m some money, please. Ah, do you have an account with us, miss? What's your name? An, an account? I am Ariel Liriada, Princess of Serenthia. Oh, uh, I beg your pardon, your highness. Well, you, you have to ask the king. I don't know if he'd want us doling out the city's treasury to his children without his express consent. I see. How vexing. Can you spare anything as a way to curry my royal favor, for chance? I suppose here you are, princess. Thank you. Five ducats. What? This is a paltry sum. You're a banker. Is this really the best you can do? Perhaps you should ask your father, highness. Hmm, yes, perhaps my father will be more amenable to my financial ma machinations. Very well, I shall speak to my father. Good day to you, you stingy banker. Good day. You return, child, and you look as though you want something. Let me guess, you want money. Ask for money. Or, yes, there's this little trinket I like. Uh... Very well, here you are. Thank you, father. Two ducats. Two ducats? Far, this is insulting. Do you have any idea how much money we're spending on this wedding, child? So I suppose that's fair. I shall have to come up with the rest of the money elsewhere. Oh, mother. 
I'm afraid you're part of a nice shared bank account, dear. Double side, very well. Princess, a word. What is it, Philip? I'm still trying to collect enough gold for that stupid trinket. Am, am I to understand you need only 90 more ducats to stop this madness? Yes, surely one of my subjects can assist us. Despite my earlier objection, allow me to cover the cost after all. Really? Yes, really. Just don't tell your mother. Huzzah, now I have enough to buy that trinket. Thank you. What if I just go buy something else? Would I fail the quest? That would be pretty silly. What if I actually go to the weapon shop instead of the tr instead of buying the trinket? I'm, uh, that's why I have save slots. To, to try out stupid things. I actually can! I actually can buy it! <laughs> oh no. Oh, that would be tragic if I were to do such a thing. I did it! Oh, is that a quest? Is that a failure for the quest? I wonder. Would that- would that- what if I try this? It- it- okay, it's not like I can fool them. I'm just gonna reload. Yep, 100 in this save file. Hello, I have acquired 100 ducats. So you have. In that case, I must place it off here this trinket. Thank you. Team point generation is increased by 10 per round. Accessory. I hope you're able to get some use out of that trinket. Yeah, seems pretty good. But it would be uh, better if I had two of them, wouldn't it? Since it's only going to boost one person's, right? It's going to boost one only one person's uh, meter. Okay, the guide recommends selling the gems in order to buy one whetstone. Yeah, might have to craft some more items. But that really took, uh, uh, took one out of their stock permanently, didn't it? No, wait. It still says 99? They can restock this almost infinitely? Weird. Maybe if I don't buy too many at once, they'll be able to sell it infinitely. I'm not sure why these are at 99. Maybe there's special items that only have very limited stock, while the infinite ones are just uh, are just displayed as 99, even if it's actually more than 99. Weird. Should probably try to look into making an infinity symbol to use instead of 99 if it's truly infinite. Oh, oh, Princess Ariel and Lord Philip. Good morning, my good woman. We're here to pick up the princess's wedding gown. I trust the alternate alterations have been completed. Of course, my lord. My son worked through the night perfecting it. I think we've finally made something worthy of a beauty like the princess. Beric, come over here, boy, and pay your respect to the future queen of the empire. Yes, mother. Good day, my lady. She's your princess, lad, not your lady. Oh, I beg your pardon, my lady, my princess. Hello there. May I see it? The dress, I mean? Yes, yeah, of course. Please do, your highness. Thank you. How pretty. Do you do this yourself? I was mostly my admirer, your highness. I just finished up the details. I'm glad you like it. It'll look beautiful on you, Ariel. Oh, Prince Gage Noriskov. What a pleasant surprise it is to see you here. Are you not aware of what dreadful bad luck it is for the groom to see a bride before the wedding? Is it? I fear I am still unfamiliar with the customs of Serenthia. I do beg your pardon, my lady. Well, he didn't have to call her princess. That is the prince of the Arcadian Empire. He can do whatever he likes. Go over here, boy. Well, I suppose I can see to the safekeeping of this dress back to the castle myself. Perhaps you can see to the safekeeping of the princess in the meantime, Prince Gage. With that and your blessing, I shall take my leave, your highness. Of course, Lord Philip. Oh, come here, boy. I want to show you something outside. What could be outside? Just come along. Good morning, my prince. I hadn't expected to see you before the wedding. Have I gotten? Uh, have I given offense? I was not aware of this custom. The way of things here is still alien to me. No, it's just a superstition, I think. 
Our customs really so strange here, it makes me wonder how strange I will feel in Arcadia. Well, it's a rugged land, my lady, and the rugged people live there. Serenfi is a land of laughter and songs and color. Arcadia is a land of ice and swords. Different though it may be, I will do all I can to make it feel like home to you. I hope you will grow to like it in time. The snow there is very beautiful in the morning sun. Thank you, Gage. That means a lot to me. You know, I've never left Serenfia before. In fact, today is one of the few times I, I've, I've even left the castle. Going all the way across the sea to the Empire seems frightening. Hmm. If I tell you a secret, can you keep it between us, my lady? I think so. In truth, I, am qu I was quite nervous to travel to Serenfia myself. I have seen many battles in my day, as my father reconquered the lands that were stripped from Arcadia at the conclusion of the Great War. None of it unnerved me, but traveling here to Serenfia to meet my future bride was the first time in a while I can recall being afraid. I am not uh, certain if, uh, if that is meant to make me feel better or worse, but I shall keep your secret anyway. Good. If my father found out I admitted that to you, I'm sure he'd have my head. At any rate, despite the differences in our cultures, I think we likely share at least one thing in common. There will be a scandal if we arrive late to our own wedding. Let's return to the castle at once, my lady. He joined the party. Wait, why do you have stats? Why does this guy have stats? This is so weird. Does that mean he's going to become a playable character later on? Because Philip didn't have stats, even though he looked like a combatant. Does that mean he's going to end up betraying his own empire? He's going to join the, uh, the rebel scum? Oh, you're finished. Well, I do pray your wedding is as wonderful as people are saying it will be, your highness. Good day. Princess, that took you long enough, didn't it? Do you have your dress? Lord Philip brought in here himself, Miss Tessa. Good then, there's still time yet before the wedding. Let me know when you're ready, but don't dally. Talk to her to advance the story. Um, Gage isn't a party. Aren't you going to respond to that? I was hoping they have new dialogue for Gage. Alright, young lady, are you quite ready? You better make sure you are, because there's no turning back after this. Oh no. How much done everything stayed in the guide? Let's do it. Good, let's get you downstairs to the chapel then. We should, I should prepare for the ceremony as well, my lady. Ariel! I suggest you try not to keep her waiting. I guess it's finally time. Here I go. Sometime later. What's gonna happen to our party? They got beaten up pretty bad, didn't they? Am I controlling any- Yes, I'm controlling her! She's in her wedding dress for this one. Keep it moving, young lady. Neither of us wants to face their martyr's wrath if this doesn't go perfectly. Your Highness, there you are. The wedding will begin shortly, so let's get you ready. I'm ready. We're still fighting these guys- this dude? Huh, well now, you two ain't half bad. We're a couple exterminator baddies, are ya? Yeah, you're not half bad yourself. Haha, -ha. the only difference between ringing a bell and ringing your bell is the sound it makes. Well, you gave me a good fight, but I don't know why you're here, but I'm gonna let you do it. We're gonna kidnap the King Horatio's daughter from her wedding. It's gonna be awesome. Roman, shut the hell up. What are you doing? You always talk too much when you drink. I'm half dead over here. Let me drink. Anyway, you should uh, grab Ariel when she came up here. Wait, so they actually account for Ariel visiting? Well, I wasn't expecting her to just walk in here, so I panicked. Why didn't you grab her? Because this bell ring asshole broke my ribs. Haha, uh -huh. taking it to the princess will make one hell of a shit sandwich out of it, eh? Alright, just don't tell anybody to let you go. Wait, what? You, you could have been the hero who saved your country's princess, but you're just gonna let us go? What are you doing? I'm gonna go find some baddies. Have fun. Huh, I don't get this guy's logic. Didn't he want to be uh, uh, become recognized by the uh, by the kingdom for his strength? Okay, Hookshot, I've been dying to test this thing uh, out since Raina gave it to us. Yeah, knock yourself out, kid. I'm gonna try to pop my shoulder back in its socket. Uh, I only got to control you now. I'll be okay, you go set up the hook shot.
Oh hell, the wedding is already getting started. Hey Rowan, we got a problem. Shit, well it's too late to back out now. We're gonna have to make it w work. Get set up, kid. Oh, how will rest? That's the target zone, but wait, there's a chest? The heck? Who the heck put a chest here? Whatever, I'm taking it. Ring of Forgiveness? Falling in battle no longer incurs an exhaustion penalty. What the heck is an exhaustion penalty? Proceed. Okay, here, lo here looks like a good spot, I guess. The swing had better work. Giving you a way to stay, my daughter. You're a woman now, but you'll always be my little princess. Think of me often while you're away in the Empire. Can you promise me that, my child? It's the easiest promise I'll, I've ever had to make, father. So be it. I love you, Ariel. And you promise to take good care of my daughter. Of course, Your Grace. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to unite this woman and this man in holy matrimony. Before we begin the vows, I ask if there are any here among you that would object to this holy of unions. I object! The people in attendance gasped and whispered amongst themselves. Where you come from? Who the hell are you? And on what grounds do you dare object to our wedding? Good God, it's the exterminator! Sorry I had to end this way, Captain. As for your bride, well, you can't exactly get hitched if she's not here, can you? Enough of this nonsense. Guard, guard seize this interloper! Let me handle this, Gage. I don't know who you think you are exactly or how you loot our guards, but I'm not going to let some ruffian ruin my wedding. And just who do you- what, uh, just what do you mean if she's not here anyway? Don't mind me, just dropping in. Eek, what are you doing? Stopping a war. So there you have it, no princess, no wedding. The resistance sends its regards, Horatio. Guards, so arms! Hunt them down! I want my daughter to return to me now! Chapter 2, Suicide Mission. Seriously, that bell ringer could have uh, turned us in and become a hero. Become the hero that his country and Arcadia needs. But no, he just... he I don't know, he just stopped for some reason. That's so weird. Maybe he's secretly uh, uh, conspiring with the Resistance and didn't realize who we were at first. That's gotta be it. Or maybe he wants a, a war a battle to break out between... The, ki the kingdoms and the resistance so he can participate in the Great War and become famous that way. That's probably his end game. Unhand me at once, you ruffians, you hedgeboard churls, you couple of jerks. Pipe down, princess, we're trying to make a getaway over here. Oh yes, I'll just keep quiet then. Please forgive me for being so rude. These people are kidnapping me. Somebody help! Unless you want to be gagged and or knocked out, I suggest you shut the hell up. Well, now, uh, now what, genius? We're kind of drawing a crowd here. I've got two words for you, lovely ladies. Sewer escape tunnel. Oh no, a sewer level. Okay, first of all, that's three words, you idiot. Secondly, I'm in a wedding gown, if you haven't noticed. I'm not taking this into the sewers. Thirdly, do you have an idea how much wedding my father has? Because it's a lot. He can hire a lot of men with clubs to deal with the likes of you. Anyway, the point is I am not setting foot in the sewer. Are you even listening to me? Not really. Down you go. Um, I hope you all enjoyed, uh, this performance by the Even Heart City Actors Troupe. Please look us up for your next Bar Mitzvah. They have Bar, mit bar Mitzvahs in this world? I'm going to personally oversee the hiring of your hangman when this is all finished. May I at least know the names of my captors, or should I just call you Greasy Pirate and Shabby Blonde Girl? Am I greasy? Well, you're not not greasy. Anyway, I kind of like her. Not the worst princess I've ever kidnapped, I'll give her that. Not the worst? What, are you kidnapping princesses without me? Anyway, whoever you both are, just tell me where your ransom is so my father can pay it and I can go home. Sorry, kid. We're getting paid, but it won't be by the king. Ransom isn't our game. In fact, if you just d keep quiet and do what you're told, you'll end up back home without a scratch before too long. You'll forgive me for not taking your word for it, I hope. I sure wouldn't take us at our word. So if not Ransom, what is your game? I told you, stopping a war. What does that even mean? 
Listen, kid, it's complicated, all right? We don't have time for this. There used to be a pirate den down here that had a ferry for smuggling goods from Evenheart to Ocean Vale. We'll use that to escape. Last I heard, the ferry's still running. Last you heard? You don't even know for sure? Yeah, well, I'm like 80% sure. Oh my god, I'm still playing the next mission if we make it back alive. Well, let's go, your highness. You're so executed. You're not a party member. Okay. What kind of enemies are down here? This leads back to the city. The last place we want to go right now. What? Enemies? Company, halt! Humans! Humans are invading our homeland. We must warn the captain. Company, move out. Double time. What the hell was that? Some kind of weird garbage monsters. They're sewer goblins. Uh, gremlins. They move in cold, wet places, infesting homes and generally just smelling up the place. I didn't know they could talk. Gross. Are they dangerous? I hope so. Then you two can get hurt and I can escape. You think you can escape whatever takes us down while you're s s wearing heels in a wedding dress? Yeah, you have to help us fight. I'm not going to take part in my own kidnapping. Besides, I don't have a weapon anyway. How do you expect me to fight? I thought you'd never ask. What is this? Adventuring gear. I brought it just in case. Also, an old cannonade I found. Carronade? A carronade? I can't carry around a ship's cannon. Where are, you even Where are we even hiding this thing anyway? Big pockets. Come on, let's go. Big pockets. Incidentally, what's to stop me from blowing the up the two of you with this? Gremlins will eat you. Ugh, fine, don't look. Turn around. Sorry. There, it fits. I'm not going to ask how you managed to guess my size correctly. Let's just go. Ariel has joined the party. Oh no, I distributed my points wrong though. Is that gonna be bad? I only have like three points now. Will that be enough to give her anything good? Explosive shot. Okay, everyone's got the same amount of skills, but we don't have any more points. I also don't have enough to craft her keepsake locket. I would need an archer stone for this. Wait, if I had a silver key, what happened to my silver key? Oh no. Did I loot? Did that, uh, that bell ringer take it away from me? Mana? Lesser heal too? Frog ug. Enemies everywhere! Hey. Use rogue toss now. One sixty nine. Grape shot. Hmm. Poisoned. Interrupt casting.
Exhaustion? Oh no. That means that we're... It's disadvantageous to fight too many battles. That is not... Uh, enemies don't respawn, do they? That, this is bad. Sundries? It's sellable. Okay. They don't respawn, but I'm still worried about exhaustion. How does exhaustion work as a mechanic? Oh, some of you guys are un unavoidable. That's not fair. How am I supposed to avoid exhaustion? Death blow again. Explosive shot. Booze me up. I only have 40 energy left. I got more exhaustion. That was a lot, but I got frog charm, so that's good. It's a regen. You know if I switch but lever button to open the door. I also have to. I'm, uh, they also say I can't fight the elemental yet. Hmm. What? Oh, Gawar Elemental. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, Princess, think about what a Gawar Elemental living in a sewer would be made up of. Oh, you. We're not going to be able to fight that thing without lowering its defenses. Can we sneak past it? I can, you can't. Alright, let's see if we can find a water crystal down here. We can use that to defeat this thing. What? And just how is that supposed to work? Hell if I know, go ask a wizard. Elemental crystals kill elemental defenses. Now, let's get to searching. This is a one-time use item, though. That would be inconvenient. Okay. Yeah. That's a huge fucking formation. Horns? What does that mean? What does forns mean? Didn't remove it. So, so can I still use a pistol on you? Ow. Ah, it dealt damage to me. That thorn. Lesser heal. Okay, good. 
That's a lot of enemies. Ah, oh, humans, attack! Thought we could ambush them, but I guess not. They're all mages, of course, of course. AoEs. Crap. Why did they get AoEs this early into the game? Seriously. Like, how am I supposed to actually deal with that? I can't even aggro them or do group heals. This is pain. So much exhaustion too. More crystal. Oh, some more crystals. Guess gremlin guys were hanging on to them. Which probably means there are more elementals down here. So we need to... Oh no. How many crystals do we get? Free? Well, so that means we... Does one work for the entire duration of the battle? Elemental shield. Remove elemental defense. Please not put it back up. Piercing stream. Oh no, I only have exactly 10 to interrupt you with. Oh, come on! I can't interrupt both of these! Are you kidding me? That's insane! This thing is... How strong? It's got 750. Maybe I can win if I try real hard. I'm just gonna charge up my attacks. Can I sleeping powder you to interrupt that? You're still sleeping? Okay. And while you were asleep, I am going to blow you to kingdom come. Oh, it deals critical damage to sleeping targets. Yeah, let's do that. Urgh! That felt good. I'll save Rogue Toss for when I'm wounded, since it seems to have a healing effect. Can you bleed? Healing waters? Ugh, how, I don't have enough to kick you with. No, that's not fair. Rogue Toss won't do a damn thing. Hold on. How much do you have? Mm. Well, if it might negate your heal, then it might be worth it. Death Blow. 60. Okay. It might work. Please work. Yes! I managed to stop your heal. I didn't even incur that much exhaustion. I think we did a good job for once. Oh, having nervous there. A very powerful healing item.
Archer stone. Okay. Mana. A switch? Does that help or hurt me? Okay. Bronze key. Second wind. Recover 25% exhaustion. Okay, that drains the water. Gems obtained. Do cats troops form up? They're, these sons of bitches think they can invade our sewers, but this is our land, our home. We're gonna send these furless pig monkeys back to the hell where they belong. Oh, sir, behind you. That's them. It's the battle, soldiers. Remember, you're training. You will make it back alive. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Hold on, we can talk about this. Swarm. A boss. Okay, let's just put you to sleep first. Prepare. Hmm. Okay, he's no longer sleeping. A single reinforcement might not be enough for you. Okay, quick slice. More? Oh, come on.
He hasn't lost his bleed effect, really? Ugh. Oh shit, I forgot about taunting. That's never going to cool down fast enough. Okay, kick. Hmm. No, I have to taunt him. Summon two at once, okay? A coup de gras. Kick you in the face. Reload. You can only summon one reinforcement if I interrupt him, huh? Reinforcement thing is annoying. Hmm. 
Slow and steady wins the race here, huh? I can't kick you that many times in one day. That sucks. Hmm. I can still cannon the, your, the, you in the face. Take out the mage if possible. No. None of my stuff is cooled down. Not good. I need to put you to sleep for a while. I need time to breathe. Lesser heal on see you ah. bleed. There, give me more rage. The parrot. You're dead. Your and your little mage will soon follow you. There, we won. Even if it took a ton of items and I made bad plays. Copper obtained, and I gained a ton of exhaustion. How come the drunk guy is less exhausted than everyone else? So are we, like, destroying a little civilization here? Because I'm not sure how I feel about that. They're the ones attacking us. It's not our fault they didn't ask to, to negotiate. If we make it out of this life, get your people to draft up some sort of sewer gremlin treaty, princess. If I can convince anyone that they t uh, talk, I will. Or call some exterminators. You can't exterminate things that can talk. I'm not going to stand here and be lectured by my kidnappers. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. Silver key. Okay, I think that took care of the traps. 
Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Rise of the Third Power. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.